Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here with more Let's Play Shining Force 2. We are at part 45. And we really need to regroup. So we're going to do that in the middle. Because Camille is not going to... She's not going to do anything. And heal Jaro, because he definitely needs it. And those guys are, they're really just going to piss you off, so... Like I said, you don't want to worry about it too terribly much. But... Now would be a great time if I had Aura 2. <laughs> Move everyone over as... Close to a group as possible. And now is when it's going to start getting nasty. Yep. Freeze level 3. Bowie needs to be healed now. Because between... Uh... Karna over there... Or not, not Karna. Camila. I'm concerned. And, of course, Chester doesn't have anything healing for so, that means we've got to use Chester as bait. Mm -hmm. um, heal Bowie to make sure Bowie stays alive. Leader needs to stay alive. And someone who's 14, please... No, don't kill Chester. Please don't kill Chester. Well, you didn't kill him, but you came damn close. Kill him and level. Thank you. Alright, now the AoE... One AoE threat is gone. Now all we have to worry about is Camila herself. And Bowie's gonna do a damn good job of distracting her. Ow, or not. Hey, guess what? Suck on this. Rocks to the face! Not enough. Um. Yeah, we'll do that. That's fine. I think. Probably not. Well, Chester. Chester and Kazen needed it. Karna and... Oh, well, no, everyone needed it. Except for Karna, so I mean, that wasn't too bad. And from here... Heal three Bowie. Make sure he stays alive. And then, yeah, that's that's good. We're in really good shape for the, the rest of this fight. Which is not going to be too much longer. And Sarah leveled off that, so... There's not a downside to this at the moment. Um, we are going to come over here and deal with him. Have Elric attack her. Not going to kill her, but every little bit of XP helps. And he, he took the bait. He went after Elric instead of healing her. And she's going to kill Chester. But okay, that's fine. I've lost one person in this fight. Two people in this fight. <laughs> or not. Damn it, I just ha I had to open my mouth, didn't I? I just had to open my mouth. You're not... You're a bitch, you know that? But your halt leveled up off that, so... Alright. Sure, we'll have Jaro get the last hit in. Why the hell not? Well, wait, do I have anyone who's level 14? That's not dead. Elric. Elric Kazen. Yeah, Elric kind of needs the hit, so... I'll, I'll take the risk, honestly. Uh, we'll have her heal herself. Just because she kind of needs it. 
she's probably dead anyway, because I'm doing... I'm... This is really, really stupid. I mean, you, you should know better than to do stuff like this, man. I really should. Hopefully the shaman won't heal her. He'll be focused on healing himself. And I would really love for Elric's turn. But we can kill him. Yeah, we can kill him now, so we'll do that. And that way we don't have to worry about it. He's just, he'll be dead. And Elric can kill her and level up to 14, and then I'll just have, or I'll just have uh, Tazen, because Tazen died. And we'll do this. And hopefully this kills her, please. Thank you. And 15. Good job. So I've just got one more person to level, and that's Kazan. So, we've defeated Camilla. And in return, she gives us the Sky Orb, which is, uh, if you remember, was stolen uh, back on the southern part of the continent, because it was uh, one of the historians. His, his son, uh, Pietro, took it. Um, and with it, you can fly the Nazca ship. And it is the pair to the Ground Orb, which is in the Metula Shrine. It gives Metula her power. So I've actually kind of wondered if the Sky Orb helps give Volcanon his power, or if Volcanon has another power source. And because she lost and she's trying to help Bowie, Guess kills her. And gets rid of the competition. Traitors die by fire. Remember that. Granted, if he had the power to kill her remotely like that, why isn't he... And we learn about what the prism flowers are, kind of. Ancient countries had those flowers along their borders. He can't explain. They're just going to kill us. That's, that's the gist of it. And Sarah receives the Sky Orb. Alright, so... Like the caravan, it shrinks you. And then we've got the caravan inside. So I wonder if you can carry shrunken, shrunken people. Aha. Uh -huh. And our people, we've got our dead people. Chester, who's dead. Kazen, who's dead. They don't say anything because they're just spirit flames. Everyone else says exactly what they say if you were in the, uh... Uh... In your barracks. And we found the Nazca Cannon, and that is a ranged item, and I'll go ahead and give that to who it's going to go to. And that's the thing, I don't know who it's going to go to. Who need, could benefit from the attack more? Elric, because his attack is much lower. So yeah, we're going to give it to Elric and equip it to him so that he can do more damage in the future. And we can talk to Astral, and he says the same thing. And then we've also got all the other people down here that we're not using. Except for Jaro, he's down there. But our entire force fits on the Nazca ship. You can start the ship by placing the Sky Orb into the cockpit. Item. Use. Sarah had it, correct? Yep. And the Sky Orb powers the Nazca ship. Don't worry. Be happy. If the robot who's as old as the Nazca ship tells you not to worry, don't worry about it. He's probably been on this thing before. We're going higher and higher. It sounds like he's almost singing, doesn't it? And the Nazca ship turns into creepy glowing blue color. And Astral reveals his age. He's 70 years old. Not too bad for a... Uh, for 70 year old... He's pretty spry, isn't he? Casting fireballs and smacking Bowie around and the like. And so we start flying across the ocean back to the island of Grands. And meanwhile, back at Grands, Gasp and Zeon are having a nice conversation. They're stronger than we thought.
Xeon agrees. May I borrow Odd Eye? No. He's still damaged from his damaged. Not he's still recovering, he's still damaged. Take Red Baron. So, Red Baron. The second to well, no. Third to last general that we'll be fighting. And Odd Eye. He can't be trusted. And he's not going to be strong enough to stop Bowie. I was just thinking of Bowie's hidden powers. He's going to kick your ass, Zeon. Alright, so they're positioning the Prism Flowers. And the Prism Flowers suck. Remember when I said before that every battle ha from this point on kind of has a gimmick to it? Well, the next battle... Well, no, actually, I think there's one battle in between the Prism Flowers. Um, so not every battle has a gimmick, but most of them have a gimmick. And... I love how it's happy flying music, and then it goes back to... Dangerous, oh my god, we're gonna die. And battle music. So the prism flower shoot beams of energy. So they're like anti-aircraft weapons at this point, because they're shooting us down. Um, they're actually just anti-personnel artillery, really. They're like, in, in, in battle, they are immobile versions of... Uh, like the, the, the ballista type enemies, except they don't shoot in a range, they only shoot um, straight in uh, either an up, down, left, right direction. But uh, they're still quite dangerous. And so the Nazca ship has taken extensive damage at this point, so we're trying to go for a crash landing. And thanks to Zinc, we pull it off. But the Nazca ship is pretty much destroyed. So... I like your wild driving. Sir Ast Notice how Astral's not moving. Like, everyone else is kind of moving in place. I wonder if their feet get tired doing that. Alright, so now we can take control. We go check Astral. He's fine. He's 70. He's not going to die due to you know, a little crash landing. In fact, he's going to get off first. It's like, get me the hell off this thing. Alright. So now we can leave. And the Nazca ship is destroyed. What a terrible ra waste to lose an ancient treasure. Yep. Alright, so now... I We're going to use the running pimento so I can get it off of someone. Um, Sarah could use it. Kazen could use it. Jerhalt could use it. Um... Uh, and then also, Karna could... No, Karna's, Karna's not going to do it, because she's going to just be using the running ring. So it's down to either Jerhalt or Sarah. And I'm thinking it's going to be Sarah, because she can she can heal, which is going to make her more invaluable, even though Jerhalt can do a metric ass ton of damage. So we're going to use use that on her. And increase our movement by two. And then we're going to go down here. And this episode is going to be getting characters. We're going to go here. Go down here. We're going to get we're going to get characters up to where they need to be. Is what we're going to do. Um, investigate that tree, and we get the second vigor ball. So now we can promote Karna to Master Monk which is going to make her ridiculously overpowered. And then here, we meet a girl praying in a waterfall. She's too beautiful for you. Back, back. What do you mean? Astral's going to sit here and cock block, and Bowie's going to get kind of frustrated by it by shaking his head. And the beautiful woman knows Sir Astral, because Sir Astral's just kind of a pimp like that. But with a hat like that, I would expect him to be a pimp. You have to be a pimp to wear a hat that cool. 
I mean, look, it's got the jewelry around the front of it, and then it's got the big feather sticking off the side. And we learn the the young lady is named Sheila, and she used to be an, uh, a pupil of Sir Astral, who scarred Sir Astral. She kicked him in the chest and left a scar. It still aches sometimes when I'm alone thinking about you. Oh, wait, no, no, no. That okay. One of the few translation errors in this game. And Peter's like, are you going to introduce us to the pretty girl? What are you doing here? I came to kill Red Baron. He killed my fiancé. So, now we learn the backstory for her. Red Baron killed her fiancé, and now we know a little bit more about Red Baron. And we're here to kill Zeon. All the killings lately were caused by him. He'll destroy the entire world! Because it's a trap. Alright. She'll do it. She'll join us. Close your eyes so that she can get dressed. And she gets out of the water and is now a brunette. She's made her body into a weapon. Not anymore, but now I'm a Master Monk. Sheila the Master Monk, so now we can have three Master Monks in our party. If you really want to go that route, which, you know, you can. And I've done it before. It's a little imbalanced because they can be kind of overpowered, especially if you power level them. Imagine that, they're overpowered if you power level them. Um, but she she can be a right nasty force in the battlefield. Alright, so now... Uh, the Master Monk here is a priest and he can perform the functions of a priest. So we're going to promote Karna to that of Master Monk. Yes. And now she is invincible. She's going to start off at level 1, which does kind of suck for her, but she still has retains all the, that she gained when she leveled up. I mean, look at that. Um, her attack is really low because she doesn't have an, a weapon anymore, but... Yeah. Um, in fact, we're gonna, we're gonna take Sheila's Brass Knuckles and give it to her. Um, yes, we have another desire. We want to raise... Resurrect our people. And resurrect Kazen. And then we'll save it. There's really nothing else here. There's... Actually... I think there is one more thing here. I think there's something over in one of these barrels. A brave apple! Everything else is kind of useless. So, we have another brave apple to use, and I don't know who I'm going to use it on. I'm not going to use it on Karna to catch her up, because she's fine where she is. I'm going to look at everyone else and see what needs to be done, though. Um, so now... Um, I saved it, but we'll save it again. Uh, I think I saved it. I don't know. I'm, I'm doing so much and talking about so much, I don't know where I'm going. Um, so I'll go ahead and end this episode here since we're at um, 18 minutes. Um, who's level what that needs to be uh, benefited by the Brave Apple. K it would be a waste to use it on Kazen right now because he's almost 15. Um, Sarah could use it to jump up to 16 and that wouldn't be a bad thing. Uh, Jerhalt could use it to jump up to 17. Elric could use it to jump up to 16 because he's... Um, yeah, I don't know who I'm going to use it on, so I may wait on that. Um, but yeah, 15 is about where you want to be at this point, so we're right at the level we need to be. Kazen's the only exception. I may use it on Kazen after he levels to get him to 16, because it's he's leveling so slow. Um, so yeah, I may do that. Um, I'll think about it, and see. We'll, we'll figure it out in the next video. I'm going to look ahead as well to see if I can... If there's a battle in between where I think I need to go and where I should be going next. So, 
Uh, anyway, yeah, I'll see you all in our next installment. Uh, until then, later, everyone.